everyone, Miss Reimer here with Music Teacher Message. So today we are going to continue through our alphabet series where I'm going through each letter of the alphabet and I'm picking one instrument that starts with that letter to talk about for that video. So as you can see, we are on to the letter E, which for us this week is for electric guitar. <laughs> I was trying to decide what instrument to do, a couple of choices, but I thought electric guitar just sounds like fun. I haven't gotten these out in a while. Um, so I think I was overdue for busting out my electric guitars and having some fun with you. There's, there's a couple of different pieces you need to like make sounds with a, an electric guitar. By itself, it doesn't really sound like anything. Okay, it's really quiet. Um, so you have to plug it in. Okay, and then I have it going into my amp, which is over here, or uh, amp is short for amplifier, which is basically a speaker. My amp is down here, and um, mine is kind of interesting because I have a couple of different choices on here where I can like change the sound, and um, that's a little unusual. Um, most amps don't have that many like choices on it, which is why I actually bought that one um, because I wasn't sure how many different pedals I wanted to get, okay? Um, so you usually go from your guitar straight into the amp or you go from your guitar into a pedal and then from the pedal into the amp. And then like I said, the amp is like the speaker and then that's how you'll actually be able to hear it because this is very quiet, right? So the pedals, we'll have to do another video where we talk more about them, I think. Um, but a pedal, basically, they sit on the floor and you tap them with your feet when you're playing. Um, you just to like turn them on and off, basically. Um, there are some like dials on here where you can change like how you want it to sound. And then what, like during a show, you would just turn it on and off, basically. Um, but pedals change how your guitar sounds. And they're a lot of fun. Um, there are so many different types of pedals out there. It's not even funny, <laughs> but um, I think having just a couple is nice because it gives you some choices when you're playing. Okay. Now, there are lots of different types of electric guitars. This one is called a solid body because it's like one big solid chunk of wood down here, okay? So there are solid bodies, hollow bodies, and semi-hollow bodies, all right? So this one is solid because it's one big chunk of wood basically, okay? Sometimes there's like a little cap on it, um, which means like it's one piece of wood and then this top layer is something different. But basically how you get the sound out of this is there are things called pickups, which there's one right here and one right here. And the pickups, um, the simplest explanation is it's kind of like a microphone that's built into the guitar and then that's how we get the sound out of it, okay? Um, so it's it's kind of technical, but that's the, the simple explanation. Um, and then you'll notice down here, there are some like dials and stuff. And I like this guitar because it's got them all labeled. So there's two tone controls and then two volume controls. And so each pickup gets a tone and a volume, and then this one gets a tone and a volume. Then over here, we have a switch and it can go down or up or in the middle. And basically that's controlling, do we want to hear? Um, it basically helps us to balance like these two pickups and yeah, there's a lot of choices on electric guitars for like what kind of sound do you want it to have? And that's why when people ask me a lot of the time, like should they start on electric guitar or acoustic guitar? I always recommend starting on acoustic first because all of these dials and switches and controls and everything, it gets kind of messy and then it takes away from you actually learning how to play the instrument. So that's why I like starting on the acoustic guitar first because then you can focus on like actually learning how to play it. And then once you've gotten a little bit better, then you can deal with all the fancies. All right, um, so I actually need to tune this one. Um, this guitar has something kind of unique on it. Um, usually you would, turn the tuners, right, um, to tighten or loosen the string so that it sounds correct. 
this guitar is kind of unique and I should not turn them and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, it has a battery for the tuners and uh, the battery is charging right now. I'm going to go see if it's ready because this is awesome and I want to show you how this works. All right, it's been charging for a few minutes. We're going to give it a shot. Um, so I have this special tuner back here that takes a battery and try to do this backwards. All right, so if I slip the battery in, okay. Now back here, if I play this string, can you see that okay? It'll flash red when it's like not in tune or yellow or whatever, and then it does green, and then it'll actually turn itself off like you just saw when it's in tune. Okay, so then <laughs> this was a, an extra. Um, this guitar I got, um, it was at like the end of the year, and kind of like cars, they come out with like new guitar models every year. I got this one several years ago, um, but it was, like the end of the year and they were trying to get rid of them basically so this like tuner thing it's like a little robot on the back of your guitar and it is awesome um and i saw them online and i was like that's cool but like it's expensive i don't need that i know how to use a tuner you know and um basically the guitar was marked down really low because it was the end of the year and they're trying to like get rid of them so that they can get the new guitars in and start selling those so this basically came free on this guitar it was crazy um and it's so much fun so instead of me having to like tune it myself you play it and then it like has like little sensors in there it feels the vibrations and then it's like no that's not in tune and it'll like tighten and loosen itself and then sometimes you have to play the strings a couple of times because it'll get it like close and then it's not quite in tune and then it'll like it'll show you with the colors like which ones you need to play again and it'll like listen to it again and then it'll go again um so basically that's why i didn't want to turn them by hand was because it's like a little robot with motors and stuff you don't want to be like messing around with that so anyway now we are in tune and i can play so um a solid body guitar like this is really quiet if you haven't plugged it in okay so I don't know how well you can hear that. It's really quiet for me. Um, and that's because it's a solid body guitar. You know, the, the sound isn't going inside of it and bouncing around in like a big empty wooden guitar. Um, it's just on these strings. Now I'm plugged straight into the amp. I'm not even plugged into a pedal, but if I turn on my amp, Much cooler huh so um, like I said there are all kinds of different um, things I can do to change the sound and some of them are kind of subtle I think it it makes a big difference when you're sitting here in person holding the guitar I'm not sure how much you're getting through the camera um, but anyway so this is a solid body electric guitar um, I did want to show you a hollow body electric guitar as well because they look kind of different, same basic principles, but I did want to show it to you. So let me switch guitars. 